マジか領域展開無料空襲So that's the magnet repel, which is a knocking back near nearby enemies. This one can be used while under attack or when countered. And I'm pretty sure that's the one that I'm gonna like the most. But that magnetic pull, that that might be one that I actually like too. Now this is where things get a little tricky. So let's see, knock back nearby enemies and consume 40% of rage to transmute into a ghost state that lasts for 30 seconds. And then this one is one where you do the same thing, knocking back nearby enemies consumes all your rage to transmute into a ghost state lasting for 30 seconds still. Well, obviously we gonna try it all today because that's my job as a content creator. Now, before I forget, because I was for sure about to forget, we gonna build this man. What I want is that school, blah, 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 can't talk. What I want is this skill cooldown. So give it to this spot. Mm, we gonna go here, obviously, and then grab this and then grab that. Then next, hmm. The way it's looking, it's looking like if I get a rage buildup, that might be ideal for what I want to do. Now next, because I always got to have this included, I think that's how we gonna try and build him for the first go around, right? With everything we got, we got F1 and then we have his first ultimate. So the first and the first on everything. And then this is exactly how we're gonna build him. See if this works. So, wow. Wow, my ultimate is almost charged up. Feeling like a good build so far. I got into one little fight and I already got, <laughs> I got into one little fight, my mom got scared. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it once I thought about what I really said. So obviously in game one, got oh shit. In game one, I'm more, I haven't seen that bit before. Whoa. There it is. Is that coming to the the game? Oh shit. Oh them heels is juicy. Nice. Nice! Okay, so you can just throw it at somebody and then activate it later if you want to. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Ooh. So far, he feels like a solid character, bro. For real, for real. Got him. Nice. Nice. I like that. I really do like that, y'all. Oh, see? Oh, that's not her. Where'd you go? Can I still... Hmm. I want to test that. It's just... It's just a good way to, to close the distance with that. Okay. So then do these just float around once the ability is done being used? Hmm. Things I'm still gonna have to mess around with and find out. Okay. So the first go around, I kind of get it. I get the, the gist of it. And he still like in the minute where I got parried, I thought I needed to have my skill in order for that to activate. But that's like a passive, I guess, of his. I want to go in there one more time with the exact same setup that I got on and try it again. And, and now not so much like experiment, but just like play the game in the flow of it and see how it works. Because right there, that was more so just like, oh, so you do this to do this and you can do this and do that. Now I'm, I'm wanting to just get in here and really play. And then I'll do that the same way when I use his second set of abilities. So, mm. 
this is a good test against the Shack. Damn, I'm lagging. I almost missed that. That's crap. Okay, now moving on to the second set of abilities, which is the magnet attract, and it's pretty much the magnet pool, which is what I'm gonna call it, and then the core. This is the one where you put them in the ball and you get to use it however you want. You can combo out of it, you can throw them, you can, you know, throw them into danger if you're in team play, all types of stuff. So we'll see if this one is better than this one or even competing with it. And obviously, we're gonna change this around but i do enjoy this so far like i think i'm gonna keep the the skill cooldown about the same i don't know if i need the luck necessarily but the successful counter might be nice or just going a little heavier in the rage uh category for solar where i'm getting more ult just for experiment's sake let's go in this direction right that's the one yep let's go in that direction and see how we like this with all the second abilities equipped. They really don't pull that far. Wow. Oh, Oh, you're alive? Come here. We haven't used the ultimate yet, but I've been using the hell out this damn magnetic attraction. I got a gravitational pull, baby. Didn't you know it? They call me Magneta. Speaking of that, hey. Now look. Ooh. Oh, good shit. Come down here, brother. Let's activate the ultimate. Wait. I missed. No. Well, this ultimate is definitely uh, you bet not miss or else that's yes. Whoa. Whoa, prejudice. Activate this damn Toss her stupid ass Okay Okay <laughs> Okay I thought the throw was gonna be weak Which is why I was like I don't know if I'm gonna use it like that But 
I can confirm the throw, the fro row is indeed not weak. Uh, hey, have some nunchucks though. If you gonna just be here, at least be worth something. Okay, hold on, hold on, you bastard. Ow! Okay, you win, you win, you win, you win. You win! I told you you won, you raggedy bitch. I don't need to see anymore. I don't want this one. I want the repel. This core? This core thing though? I kind of like it. I think I like the one that gives you heals more personally because if you miss with the core damn is you in trouble but damn does the core actually do some good damage so let's try it like this there you is what the fuck yeah 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 yeah. bring your bitch ass uh. get off i'm not playing what you Stupid little AI anymore. I'm here. Smooth. Hmm. The stun is so long. Holy shit. Good to know. Good to freaking know. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. Gotcha. You like royally stop. Smart, smart, smart on my part. Smart on my part. Oh my! Oh my! I'm already seeing. Hold on, let's let's. I was gonna say let's get a little bit of movement going. Get off me! I'm busy. I said I'm busy. Shit. God damn. It's over for you, buddy. It's over for you, buddy. It's over for you, buddy. Okay, so it seems like he felt disrespected because I ain't drip him out. And now I won a game with 13 kills, 31,000 damage, right? Okay, y'all, so now getting into it. First impressions, 
I like him. I really like him a lot. I see how he is going to be able to control a battlefield. The way you play him is going to be really important, but you can use the control in a defensive way. You can use it in a very aggressive way. I'm excited to see what it's actually going to do once it's in the server and you can play with teammates in there. Oh, that's going to be crazy, the combos that you can set up. But right now, the very, very bare minimum, y'all, I would say this is a pretty damn good character. Best ability so far? Just based off of the first go around, me y'all, I'm always gonna go with one of the abilities that allows you to pretty much prevent yourself from being, you know, just stuck in a combo stun or whatever the case may be. So that's the one I'm gonna go with over the attract. And one of the reasons is because the attract has such like a, a short range to the pull, in my opinion, and you got to be right on target with that thing. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people are going to obviously go with the, the repel. That's the best skill. And then when it comes to the ultimates, I'm going to go ahead and say I personally like fusion better. Core is definitely good, though, for like doing some damage or hitting a cluster of people or holding somebody in there and then hitting them with a combo the second they come out like it's situation based but it's really really good just like the first one is this is how i had my glyph set up so when you guys get your hands on them you could try this but i'm probably gonna try and push out one more video before he goes live to everybody else because again he's not going live till may 8th so i might as well get another one out for y'all but that's what i got